You know what? Don't you guys think that intros are kinda boring? Yeah, me too. So, how about we just skip the intros and just go straight to the point. So, um, dragons that you need in Dragon Adventures. So, there's a couple dragons that are... That are really needed uh, to actually play Dragon Adventures. And now, today I will be showing you exactly what dragons those are and um, why they are so good, of course. So, um, how about we just get straight to the point? Let's go to the dragons tab. And of course, I've got to say a search bar here, and I'm gonna go to the first dragon, which is Defeated. And why is this dragon so useful? It's a tier 1 dragon, of course. And uh, it's, a, it's a rather small dragon, and a lot of people might think, like, yeah, smaller dragons are useless, we only need the big dragons. No, that is not true. So, the reason why this dragon is so useful, and a lot of you may know this, is because it's the fastest dragon in the world. Well, in, 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 this, in, this, in this game, at least. So, uh, I've got this V-Net with speed stats and it has 10% speed. Thank you, Lovely, for hooking me up with this v of course, and I gotta bond this one real quickly in the meantime. But this v is really helpful for uh, getting to places really, really quickly, or like getting eggs and that kind of stuff. And I will show it in a minute when I'm done bonding, because uh, bonding stays a thing and I need to bond, of course, to be able to uh, show you guys why this dragon is so good. Because I've got a speed bonding on this dragon, which is uh, what is useful. So if you have a 10% speed, speed bonded and a Venus, it's actually the best dragon that you can have of course and this one has more melancholis which makes it even better and I'm facing the opposite way doesn't matter okay we've got the Venet and let, let's just see how fast this dragon is because it's really really fast and you, you guys might be wondering is this really fast yeah it's really fast I think this is quite insane considering that there are so slow there's so much dragons in the game but there's just some that you need and there's this it's kind of like a meta not gonna lie you know how those PvP games and stuff have metas and stuff like uh, guns or anything that is good at the moment. Yeah, this is the same thing, but this one doesn't get nerfed or anything. This is just a Venus, and it just stays like this. And mine has almost uh, 300 speed, which is really nice. So let's unequip that thing real quickly. And let's just spin the wheel in the meantime. Well, we're gonna go to the next dragon, which is the mother dragon, of course. And we got some blue fish, which is really nice. The mother dragon is the next best. Well, it's a really a recommended dragon that you uh, that you need. You might be wondering why is this dragon so good? And you guys might have guessed it. It's for PvP. This dragon is a dragon that has the biggest damage output in the game, and this one is just really easily, uh, uh, really strong for farming. And I'd really recommend you guys get a Mother Dragon and try to get it max stat. It's really worth it and I, I, I just, just a quick tip, make sure to spend your money on the dragons that you need and not actually dragons that you don't need. Since you do need every dragon in the game, don't get me wrong to unlock the prehistoric world and to do certain stuff, but um, you just can't have every dragon uh, really easily. So I recommend you put the dragons that you really need before the dragons that you don't need. And I forgot to tell the, the V that you can get it in the Wasteland Egg or at least or whatever. I forgot to say that real quickly. And the mother you can get at the Fantasy World. So, uh, if you get the Fantasy World, make sure to get some eggs and try to hatch it or go to leisure and of course buy one. And uh, as a starter, if you're level 10, it's really recommended to grind up to like 10,000 to 20,000 coins. And make sure you buy a mother dragon in leisure because they go for 10,000 to 20,000 and it will speed up your progress like crazy. So, make sure if you're a beginner or a higher up, this, these dragons are the dragons that you really, really, really need. And the reason why that is, is um, these, these dragons, you will always keep on using them. I've never had a situation in this game where I didn't use the Mother Dragon or the Venus. So make sure you get these ones. The next one is not a certain dragon, it's just a type of dragon, and that is the event dragons. So we've got the Skeletor right here, which is an event dragon, and you could get this one with Halloween, and make sure you get this one, because event dragons are getting rarer and rarer every single day, and I, I really hope you guys are able to get one. And this is one of my favorite dragons, if not the favorite, um, because of the it, its looks. It looks amazing. Uh, so the Skeletor is one. And of course, the other one that came out with the event is the Pumpkin, uh, or aka the Paukiki, which is a really strong dragon. Well, not that strong. It's, 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 it's a cool dragon to have, you know. So, uh, make sure you get these Halloween dragons. And then, if we move on to the next event, that was the Winter event. So, that came after the Halloween event, of course. And you could get the Tosknir. So, the Tosknir is one of those dragons that a lot of people know and want, of course. And these are really rare. And you don't see too many of these in the game anymore. Even though they are um, dragons that... Um, not a lot 
of people see and you see Aranga's way more and I'll get to that in a second but even though it is a dragon that not a lot of people see it's still a relatively cheap dragon it's not that expensive at the moment so I recommend you get one now and uh, and maybe when the winter event comes out the people will breed them for you so that's really nice of course so that's the winter event and after that uh, the event that we all uh, know and love is the um, is the winter event of course wait no 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 the Easter events why did, why did I say winter the Easter events and that's the Aranga so make sure you get a Aranga I've got mine in watermelon colors it's really cool and the reason uh, why you should get one is because of, of course everyone wants a Aranga and it's really a rare dragon in the game and I just recommend you guys get one uh, while it's still obtainable and of course um, it, it's, it's keep, it will be obtainable again but it's not like other event dragons. Other event uh, dragons are be able, will be able to breed of course but this one you can just get it again out of an egg when it comes out again. So that's really nice and the next one and the last one of course is the Skirix and uh, what's so special about this dragon is um, that not a lot of people notice, well, not a lot of people care about this dragon and this dragon is gonna raise in value, don't worry. Um, but this dragon is really cool because not a lot of people thought about it. Um, but this dragon got deleted so much that there are bar barely any in the game. And of course there are still a decent chunk of them in the game, but it's not like, the, uh, um, like any other dragon. Which is, there's a lot of them, you know. So just make sure you get these event dragons because they are always useful to have uh, and they're always hard to obtain. So make sure when you get a chance to buy one, make sure you buy them. And of course we have the Feyre, so make sure you get this one of course. This is the Valentine's event dragon and this dragon is, is one of my favorites. And I love these colors by the way. These colors look sick, I have not seen this one yet. I, uh, I made them pure and I did not even look at them because I, I just care about uh, having them for some reason. I really like them, they look so cool, but the reason why you should uh, get these of course is because you can't get them anymore. And make sure you get them. The next one is sort of a uh, event dragon and you should definitely get one of these and you can get them weekly. So I'm not sure if this is considered an event dragon, sort of it is. So if we go to uh, this dragon, it's a uh, Zintros and what this dragon is, it's a weekly event dragon, if I may call it like that. I am not entirely sure what to call it of course, but the Zintros is a dragon that a lot of uh, players want at the moment. So make sure you get some prehistoric eggs and I'm not sure where my base is, let me just see real quickly. Am I blind? Yeah, here it is. Okay, let me just go to my base real quickly and show you guys. And it works really weirdly, but um, I've got some uh, prehistoric eggs ready and you always want to get these. Uh, so you can get the Zintros of course, so um, the Zintros you can only get at the weekends and um, it's, it's really hard to get since if you go to eggs real quickly you can see uh, it's not obtainable at the moment and basically every weekend there comes more Zintros. So make sure you get these and they are really rare in the game. But anyways I've got the Zintros and I change the tertiary color every single um, day. So let's see what we get and we get a kind of orange looking coral color and it's really cool I like it a lot and let's claim our plants so we claimed our plants and there we go let's move on to the next dragon which of course is the Chronicus, aka the Colossal which is a really cool dragon uh, let me just move on top of it it's uh, kind of hard to get on it but the Chronicus, the biggest dragon in the game on size and everything the reason why you want this dragon is because it's an absolute tank so if you're looking to get eggs or anything it's really hard to see them um, uh, with this dragon but if you're just looking to tank up uh, anything you can use the Chronicus of course because it has so much HP it's actually insane and this dragon when the PvP get fixed of course it's one of the strongest um, PvP dragons in the game so we're just gonna wait for the PvP to get fixed and then the mother dragon will be no more basically and let me just feed this one and heal it up because yeah uh, it needs some healing it's um it, it was almost dead but this dragon is a really strong dragon and I feel like I should level mine up but I really don't have the time so I'm just gonna keep it like this and let's just move on to the next dragon and you might be surprised what dragon it is but it's the shark aka, aka the Kaipera which is a really really uh, strong dragon for beginners so if you can't get a mother dragon make sure you get this one instead because it does a lot of damage and it might surprise you how strong this dragon actually is but it's actually an insanely strong dragon and I really really like the uh, Kaipera itself and um, yeah it's, it's just a really strong gen uh, dragon in general because it just does the damage and it's small so it's really easy to maneuver and you can barely see it if you have a pitch one of course which um, 
it's always nice always have a pitch pvp dragon which is like it a pitch dragon is always nice to have so um the, the kaipera definitely on my list and then the next dragon and the last one of course is the Sukai, and i couldn't get on the name by the way <laughs> the Sukai, which is a really really cool dragon and the reason why that is, is because it's the first dragon that you can obtain by a, uh, by a separate way. And I, make a I made a tutorial on how to get this dragon, so link is in the description if you want to know how you get this dragon. But anyways, you need this dragon because it's basically, um, it it's it's a really rare, well it's not really that rare, it's a really dra uh, cool dragon. It's, it it's one of a kind, it has four wings and I don't see why you wouldn't want this dragon. And I use it every single day of course. And it's one of my favorite dragons in the game, and the reason why you need this is because it just it's it's an awesome dragon. And who would want a dragon that's really exclusive to the players that has a prehistoric world? So make sure you get this dragon. And of course, the video um, that is that I made on this, of course, is somewhere on my channel. Just search it on YouTube. It's a uh, it, it works uh, fine. Okay. So so in that tutorial of the um, Sukei, I explain every single thing you need to know and every single thing you have to do to obtain this dragon and every single dick location everything that you need to know to obtain this dragon of course so make sure you watch that video if you really want this dragon but anyways um that's gonna be the end of this video i went over the dragons that you really need in this game and it's it's really uh hard to to like say like these dragons you need over others because all the dragons look so cool but um, some dragons you just need more than uh, every other dragon. And I do recommend you guys to get every single dragon in the game. Because you just need them all. Uh, first of all to unlock the prehistoric world. But second of all to do the uh, missions. And it's just cool to have all of them. Personally, I've got all of mine on Melon Colors uh, that I just keep. And it's really cool to have that. And um, yeah, just make sure you have every single dragon. And it's, uh, it might take a while, um, but of course, these dragons you, you should t choose over any other dragon. So make sure you get these dragons. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.